I apologize for my being late. Well, we're uh, late too. Yeah, that hey, was Kitty. that was really nice of you to to hold back like that until after I'd come, so that I wouldn't feel too bad. <laughs> Actually, anytime, Oz. Yeah, anytime. It kind of worked because I, I was keeping an eye out for to see uh, our meeting was going over. And I'm like, oh, don't worry, Oz, not even online yet. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, do not have a lot of new stuff. It's going to sound an awful lot That's like the last few weeks. Awesome, because neither do we. Uh, there's a maintenance viewer cooking. Uh, it's uh, got a bunch of fixes in it for lots of annoying things, um, but nothing very dramatic, and I don't think it creates any new backwards compatibility issues or anything yet. So nothing to worry about on that score. Graphics, quick, the quick graphics viewer is um, has actually got almost all of its pending changes made. We have one change that causes uh, shiny highlights on on the muted, what should be the muted imposter rainbow people avatars that we haven't quite figured out. I could ship with that one if I, if I, if I had to. Yeah, it actually does look kind of cool, except that the whole point of these things is to not look cool. Um, the uh, and we have we have not yet put in the final changes for for the accounting for some of the materials properties. We're doing the testing now to determine you know what cost multipliers should apply if you're doing uh, you know a, a shininess layer in a material and that kind of thing. So we're 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 making a couple of last minute fine tuning things. Again, I would be willing to ship with those and just adjust them in the future. Um, so um, I'm actually running a build right now. It will go through QA hopefully over the weekend. And uh, I expect an update early next week. Uh, I've been using Rainbow People, really, but, you know. Uh, I'm, I think you should have called them jellies, just spelt it with a G instead of a J. <laughs> yeah, you know. uh, yeah, I got enough I got enough headaches with legal so <laughs> I, 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 don't really need to, I don't need to add any new ones. Um, so uh yeah, Link Poster. Um, but the derivation of that one is a little obscure. Uh, so that one's coming, and I and I'm hoping that we're we're nearing the end of that long evolution. The bento skeleton uh, is, we believe, is frozen. We're going to be doing a few weeks of QA to really decide that that the need to change things has stopped. And then at some point after that, in the not too distant future, we will enable uh, upload of Bento compatible content on Agni. And therefore the project viewer will be useful and interesting on Agni. Uh, and of course, then we're, we'll go through the usual cycle of testing with the project viewer until we think that it's good enough and it'll be become a release candidate. There are a bunch of issues to look at. Uh, many of them are issues that have existed for a long time, but because they're related to avatar rendering uh, and especially joint positioning and uh, various uh, interesting qualities, of, shall we say, of how animations work, we're at least considering whether or not it's possible to fix them as part of the Bento project, uh, or at least improve on them or make them more fail in a more predictable way so that it's easier to work around them at that level of work. So we're, we're looking at that. It is entirely possible that some of them we will decide are 
that there's a reason why they've been problems for a long time and we'll just continue to live with them and we'll we'll declare the bento functionality to be what it is at some point uh, without having addressed those issues but we are taking a look at them we'll try to we'll try to fold that into the process um, so no predictions on timelines yet um, of course because well, come on, you always give us really accurate ETAs on things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, it's only the ones I give my boss that are really far off. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, that's. But we are we are making uh, very real progress on that, and I'm I'm really excited about it. We're going to have um, we're going to have lots of good data for people to play with uh, there real soon. Uh, and we are banging away and actually making progress on the Rift viewer. We have one that that kind of, sort of, almost works now with the uh, with as long as you have a very restricted set of uh, graphic settings. Uh, there are still um, are they. I, th I think a couple of them have done trial merges, they're not supposed to release viewers with it until we put it in the release channel. And Serial has uh, ours merged with um, good. one of her private repos. Yeah, good. Um, that's, that's good to keep an eye on that. Uh, the Rift viewer, probably what will happen is that sometime in the hopefully not too distant future, we will have a version that will release and say, here it is, but these are the graphic settings you need to use, or we know it won't work, and for the time being, that's the way we're going to leave it. Um, Wait, Cool Viewer actually has actually released it, really? Oh, no. Uh, oh, the Bento stuff? Huh. Yeah, no. It's not worth arguing about with, with Henry. Um, so uh, I do agree, though, actually, with Rill's second sentence there, is that in order for us to merge that, we're going to need some rifts. Oh, I'll, well. uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you my address after the meeting. <laughs> uh, well, I ain't got one yet, so... Uh, anyway, uh, we'll, we'll we'll put that out there pretty soon. As soon as we no, wait a minute, some... you had one. I saw a picture of you with a fancy keyboard of yours. I'm pretty sure you had a, a rift on your head. No, no, never happened. Hmm. Uh, but <laughs> um, but we're gonna try and put it out there, and we've we've still got some. Issues with the UI needing to be put back where it belongs. It's, it's not in the right places on the screen. Hopefully, if we get that sorted, we can um, we, we can then say within this very specific set of graphic settings, it's kind of sort of usable, and we'll and we'll put it out there. That way. Can I just say uh, it is updated to use the latest SDK? Something I that. find very ironic about Rift is if all these users, you know, swinging out, please, you know, release the Rift, and when is Firestorm going to have Rift? And da -da 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 -da, Rift, 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 this, Rift, that. Um, and Rift costs what six hundred bucks. Uh, yeah. So everybody like wants like a Rift viewer. But they don't want to upgrade from Windows XP. I just don't uh, care. forget about them being able to afford the Rift. Stop and think about the hardware that they actually need on their computer yeah. to be able to run it. Yeah, you need a in order. Well, if you if you believe what Oculus Rift says about it, you need a pretty hardcore machine to to use it. I, I honestly feel like Rift will get released and I'm not saying don't do it but I, I honestly feel like you know once it's released 
five people <laughs> will upgrade to it. <laughs> right, but we want we want we want to. Oh, it's well, good to have I'll, it. We'll let sure. you we'll let you know. Actually, I mean, yeah. sure, certainly as soon as we we'll be watching those stats very closely. But it's one of those um, things where there's like all this demand for it. But yet, yeah, when the time comes, I, I bet very few people will actually uh, will actually use it. Right. It's, well, Eddie it. wants it, so we got to do it. Well, so. in that case, you have yeah. <laughs> Eddie's. You know why he's probably getting a free rift bugger. He's already uh, got a free rift. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. I don't know whether it was free or not. He certainly got one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You need to ask for a raise, folks. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so that's coming to um, the other hot question before anybody bothers to ask is the whole QuickTime thing. So um, QuickTime is, uh, as you know, has these, the various QuickTime plugins have had lots of issues, and there was recently another big, uh, big uh, release about vulnerabilities and so forth. And and so what we are doing right now is testing what happens if we completely remove the plugin and and try to try to handle the media it used to be handling by sending it to CEF instead. Um, and we're Making some progress on that, but it's basically in you know an extended QA effort right now. Um, but if you've got, um, you feel free to test what happens without Flash. Um, if you're using either Flash or QuickTime, but especially QuickTime, find an alternative that works. That's my advice. Um, uh, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't, we're, we're not bundling flash now. If you plug it in yourself, it works. But if you happen to get the right flavor on the right systems and it's the right phase of the moon. And you hold your tongue in just the right direction when you're downloading it. Yeah, exactly. Something along those lines. Um, right. Well, if we if we made our if we made all our decisions based on what somebody liked, we would never get finished. I'm pretty sure that's we how we came up with the UI, though. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, I'm pretty sure that's how Firestorm came up with the UI, too. Yeah, only they made all the choices options. Yes. Well, we're paying for that, obviously. But Yeah. We, we knew we would pay for that. But... Okay. Uh, so I think that was the agenda. Um... The new teleport widget, we had a little trouble getting it home, but it's 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 getting there. There will be a link. If it isn't already on the wiki, there will be shortly. So the new teleport web widget, which will also start appearing on the destination guide and other places shortly. Uh, so the floor is open. I, I have nothing personally. Uh, actually, no, I, that's not true. Um... Before every one of these things, I ask in serial if she has anything she wants to bitch about. Um, she wants to bitch about the tabs versus spaces again. I'm just saying that. So use tabs, and otherwise I'm done. And serial wants us to use tabs? Yeah, she says... It's not happening. Says, Forget it. Sorry, in serial. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll pass that on. That's 64-bit libs. Uh, they're in progress. You can watch the repos. On oh, the... A, a fun fact. We um, have we have gotten to the point where we're actually trying to build viewers, Nikki, now, not just Nikki, libraries. Nikki bragged in my IM this morning that uh, she managed to build your 64-bit viewer before you did. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? 
Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> um, in fairness, she's very, she's very proud of herself. In fairness, having gotten to the point where all the libraries were ready, we decided we yeah. would see if we could build the 32-bit version first. Oh, I see. Oh, well, that's kind of a silly thing. It, well, but we've had we have to do both. So, um, the uh, that's fine. Uh, we are we are very appreciative of Nikki Salad and everybody else's. Um, uh, Cinder, your I, I believe your fix for the modifier keys on the Mac uh, past QA, so it will be in the next mate branch. Yay! Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, no, don't don't give thing. me URLs here. I can't use them here. One more thing from um, from Ansarial. So I'm just gonna throw it out there because I said I would. She asks if if we ever get to the point, you can tell Ansarial that that I'm no happier with the mixed tabs versus spaces than anybody else with. In fact, maybe maybe less happy. If we ever get to the point where we're not doing, we're only doing one branch of viewer development, I will personally change all the tabs to spaces. And then we won't have merge problems. Of course, you will. Of course, we will. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so is it in. It but we is, are not going to keep it, using tabs, period. But, oh, so it is your intent. If, so if you had your way. Check the coding uh, standard. The coding standard that... says use spaces. Okay. But don't do global changes because that creates merge problems. So new things will should all be spaces. It was one of the first suggestions. It was really the only thing I was really unhappy with with the coding standard when I first started working here. And I... I suggested that maybe they should let me just change all the tabs to spaces and we should do it all with spaces. That was um, going on six years ago now. Uh, but at the time, I was not the boss. So they just said no, and I had to live with it for a while. Uh, well, the reason this is an issue for Ants is because she's she's handling all of her merging. Sure. I understand the problem. But tabs are a pain in the neck. <laughs> Serial says, I, I, I just told her that you, you'll never go tabs, it's spaces. And, and uh, she says they did. Some expert changed the coding style wiki page after the cranes screwed it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just the messenger. <laughs> Sorry. Uh... Other other topics. Okay, so just a silly question for me. What are the chances that there will be a release with uh, without QuickTime and with the graphics update within the next month? Uh, without QuickTime is unlikely within the next month. Okay. Yeah, without so QuickTime may take some may take a little longer than that. I'm really hoping we'll get uh, quick graphics out in significantly less than a month. Yeah, it's actually the quick graphics is actually looking quite nice. Yeah, it's it's, it's very good. Um, uh, if you're doing crash dump uploads, we made a change in that branch just recently where uh, it did have a kind of elaborate set of code for how to decide where to upload uh, crashes to, and now it there's a setting that, that provides a URL to upload crashes to, and then if it doesn't, if that isn't set, then it falls back to a a, a fixed value. Um, and that's the way we plan on leaving it. So I'm, I assume that that is code you all have, any of you that are doing crash dump analysis, have fiddled with. Um, so you'll have a little bit of a merge there. But I think this structure will actually be easier for you to use because you can just hard code the setting and then you're done. Well, that would probably um, impact Nikki, possibly. Yeah. Uh,
Anything mm. else? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a new one. I didn't even start that rumor. <laughs> Actually, Oz, as, as some time back when uh, you and I did one of those Phoenix Hour things, we had you up there, and you had a, a slightly older avatar with big bulgy eyes. And while we were in the interview, and of course it's recording live and everything, somebody in the audience said uh, something about uh, your eyes were burning through him or something. <laughs> I, I, I absolutely exploded laughing. I had to mute my mic. <laughs> Forgot what I had asked you. Good thing you were talking was, at the time. Was that, was that the same one where I was accidentally wearing the avatar that was swirling its head around all the time? Oh, no. <laughs> no, I don't remember that. I was, I was running a view. Uh, that was pretty hysterical, actually. I was oh running a test. I was running a test viewer that we were experimenting with how the avatar moves its head in response to the fact that somebody is speaking or texting nearby. So that it looks like you're following right. the conversation yeah. kind yeah. of thing. And we had set the sensitivity way too high. And of course, we were <laughs> sitting there in this auditorium with like 90 people. <laughs> in in you know in a big arc uh multi you know multi-tiered auditorium thing so every time anybody in the audience texted i was <laughs> swiveling my head to face them and it, it, oh, it, it looked gosh. like you know, there was just, it was, yeah it was hysterical although it was very useful as a test i mean i i turned around and handed it back to the developer and said i think we need to have a sensitivity problem <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've seen that. Really, you, uh, you got to give me that video at some point. <laughs> it, it was it was one of the ones that you and I did with uh, with Pookie, I, I think. I oh know. right, yeah. Uh, des uh, designing, well, yeah. Um, designing girls. Yeah, right, right, right. It was that one. It was, uh, and it was. It, 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 she kept texting me in the background. Can you please focus on something so that your head doesn't oh, you swivel around like that? I'm, that's, it, it, that sounds it, familiar it, now. That's starting yeah. to strike a memory. Yeah. Yeah. She kept kept texting me in the in side chat saying, you know, well, right click on something and hold your hold your focus still. But of course, running that viewer that had no effect. Couldn't do anything. Well, See, that'll I mean, teach it you was for a being on experimental builds when you're doing. It like, was it was an accident. Kind of I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> totally an accident that I was running that viewer. Did not mean to do that. But made a great test. I just thought of something that I could ask that's not related to the viewer, though, Oz. What's that? Underage accounts. Um, that's pretty far outside my yeah, and what's the question? Elaborate, please. Oh, okay, that's a, that's a, okay. that's a topic Here's, that's a red flag all by itself. But let's, let's yeah, see. okay. We're 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 getting a lot of a, a lot a fair number of people through the gateway. We're by our numbers, we're getting in excess of a hundred people a day. Um, we're getting at least a half a dozen underage accounts a week. Those are the ones that we can identify either through voice or through them admitting it in text. So we're, we're following these reports. Uh -huh. In some cases, their account gets banned. Uh, we had one that we AR'd multiple times, finally went through yesterday, their account got banned. They were in a half an hour later on a new account. An hour is like two minutes. Come back. Uh, that that falls squarely under the category of governance issues about which yeah. I am not going to say anything at all. Yeah, no, I, I, I get Sorry. that. Um, yeah, yeah, that's but that's why I was hesitant to bring it up. But I just, yeah. you know, no, I'm afraid. We, I'm afraid we that's go not by the do it. date of birth indicated at registration. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I realize your situation. I do. Well, we, we can't do better on the porno sites, you know? Yeah, yeah. Our, our problem is, okay, we can kick them off the region, but then we're throwing them out God knows where. Violet and all those lovely places.
You know, they'll wind it up is. in some adult info hub or something. Unfortunately, that is a problem for the internet at large, that the internet at large has not yet really worked out a solution for. It's one we're paying attention to, and if the world figures out a way to deal with it, we will participate in that. But we haven't found a, a, a better solution than that. Yeah. And yeah, Worley, that's what we're doing. We're not, we, we don't boot them, okay? Um, we're, we do our best to keep them there, but, you know, some of the gateway helpers are starting to feel like babysitters. And, and they want union rates. We can't afford to pay them. I guess send them to the court. Um, I'd love to be able to do that. Can, can, can I have the rights to send people, force teleport people to the Actually, uh, you, don't, you, don't, you don't need the rights to do that. We could do that with the experience. Um, but the problem is once they get there, because it's not the cornfield that it used to be, uh, where you go there and you can't leave, that they could just leave. Yeah. But yeah, we're trying to keep them uh, as much as we can, because we're getting them as young as six years old. Six years old, nine years old, ten years old. Um, it's just, anyhow. Sorry, my audio completely went out, and I did not hear the last bit of conversation. <laughs> I'm still like the recorded for your pleasure. Yeah, the kids are smarter. I don't know. Some of them, the parents really don't care either. Okay. Really, uh, Other non governance issues. <laughs> <laughs> you know, was that shut up, Ed said very politely? No, it's just, <laughs> I, I can't. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm just teasing. I, feel, free to, feel free to put me in an awkward position all you want. I just. But that's the best I can do. Yeah. No. Enable um, RLV. There you go. Awkward position. Well, you know, if, if we had a lot of time, uh, there are pieces of what's in RLV that I would yes. like to think about adding yes. to experience-mediated yes. capability. I, I mean, Absolutely. that's 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 actually kind of on the on the things to think about doing list, but. Uh, obviously, if we did it, it wouldn't be compatible with existing RLV because right. we wouldn't implement it in anything like the same way. Um, but there, there, so that neither would you if you could do what we can do. World. Yeah, the whole other that spec has a whole world of possibilities. And right from the day that we started working on Phoenix and planning on Firestorm, we were we were thinking of ways that we could expand RLV. I just right. never did. Uh, that. It, that's that's not uh, that's that's not out of the question. It's it's not on the short term agenda because we've got an awful lot of other things on the short term agenda, as you know. But uh, but it's 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 something we've talked about, and I think we would have to get and much better please. educated. Uh, in fact, Simon did a whole presentation about it at our last. Well, in part about that. At our last get together, um, Kitty's client side scripting. We, we made Abby blush. Wait, what? <laughs> In Simon's presentation, Abby blushed. What was the presentation? It was, uh, you know, adult activity in Second Life. It was an educational presentation for for the oh, staff. Oh dear! <laughs> it was great. There's no very adult. illuminating. It, there's no adult, you know, stuff going on in SL. Uh, that's not what Simon said. I don't think I want to play Simon Says with Simon. We do all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, okay. Well, sounds like we're kind of running, no, I didn't, I didn't running out of things that. to talk about. I'm, I'm still trying to understand what Kitty's talking about, client-side scripting. Are you talking about, like, the, the... Yeah, Lua, right. Wait, we never rejected Lua plugins. 
think we did, yes. At one point. So that's why I usually say I, I I append to everything I say. I could be wrong. I usually am. Well, there is security. Yeah, obviously. If it could be done in a safe way. Anyhow, thank you, Oz. Writer, thank you, company. Everybody. Yeah, thank you all. Hearing uh, a <laughs> I will see you all in two weeks. I didn't get on set. Your thing is broken. No, you got to stand up still, silly. No, it, it usually unsits. Just drop the chair. Hasn't for a while. Yeah, and it didn't work. Okay, i got to get back to IRL work. Bye. I'm off to see you guys. Have a great weekend. Bye. Talk to you later, Jess. Can we just drop a note card to Oz to enter that raffle for the rift? <laughs> nice try. I don't think it'll work, Horsey. Uh, if enough of them do, I'll pass the word.